Hello, my name is Razvan and uh, welcome to Raska Papercraft YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how to make this uh, 3D origami flower. This is a 3D origami tulip and uh, I will have uh, two models here open like this and uh, the next video will be this close. Alright, uh, you will see in the next picture a vase with uh, five tulips the vase is still in progress but i will try in around a week to put a tutorial for a while for a way uh, ways for uh, these uh, flowers all right these are not uh, difficult to make and but you will need uh, a lot of pieces the flower are from small pieces and the vase from a large one let's start for this uh, color we need uh, three colors we need white uh, i'm sorry we need yellow and uh, dark green and uh, we need also some uh, light green and some orange Okay, these are uh, small 3D origami pieces. Uh, if you do not know how to make this, you will find a link in the left corner of the screen. Please uh, learn how to make these uh, 3D origami pieces properly. Because uh, if you do not make good pieces, your model will be very hard to connect and uh, will uh, look bad. Okay, these are small pieces. Uh, you will obtain 64 pieces like this from an A4 piece of paper. Um, I want to mention that uh, all the pieces are made in the same way. The only difference is the uh, size of the rectangular of paper. This is a rectangular of paper for uh, large pieces, 32 from an A4 piece of paper. And uh, we have uh, 5.2 centimeters long and uh, 3.7 centimeters wide all right and uh, for small pieces we fold this in two and then cut and from this we make our small pieces uh, i use normal printer paper 80 grams per square meter and uh, i make all my pieces in this way Please look carefully of the videos, uh, even if you are not a beginner, because uh, you must make the pieces properly. Okay, sorry. Uh, you can see there is a huge difference between, between these two pieces. And now we transform this brown and we use a tool. These uh, are uh, five uh, large pieces connected together in a row we put uh, here in the pockets push and then with your finger or with a pen we give a very nice round shape and we have a very good quality piece very easy to work and we look very very good in the model we will start and we will work with uh, yellow and light green we will make a small 3D origami base. If you are a beginner and want to learn more about these 3D origami bases, you will have a link in the right corner of the screen. Please look there. Okay, and uh, we will glue these pieces. We must glue every piece. I will show you how I glue the pieces. I use for this a paper solid stick glue. You can find this in every office supply store and uh, very simple, I put some glue inside the pockets and then connect with other pieces. I glue like this every pieces. Now with our base we put uh, light green pieces in the first two rows and in the third row we alternate one uh, green with one yellow, like this. And we put uh, pieces until we have uh, eight pieces in the first row, 
seven in the second and uh, six in the third. Just a moment, now we have seven, one more. And now we close the circle and we put one light green and here we continuing with the pattern and our small 3D origami open base is finished I will repeat 8 pieces in a row uh, first row and second row only light green pieces and in the third row one uh, yellow one Read. Now we have 8 pieces in this last row and now we increase the number of pieces from 8 to 12 like this we put one, one uh, yellow like this then we put two pieces above and then another one normal and then we increase again one normal and increase again one normal and we increase for the last time and the last normal We squeeze a little, but not too much. Now we have uh, 12 pieces in a row and we put uh, two normal yellow rows like this. Complete uh, this and then put uh, another one. In total, two yellow rows. Next, we increase again the number of pieces. And first, we put a yellow piece like this, and then two pieces above. Then, we put uh, two normal. and then increase again then two normal and increase again in total we increase four times from 12 pieces to 16 now again two normal and the last increase and the last two normal next we put uh, two entire yellow rows do not forget to alternate the direction of the row if you put a row in this direction the next row you go in the other direction Finish uh, this uh, row and then put another one. In total, two yellow rows. Now we have uh, 16 yellow pieces in the last row and we increase again. We increase to uh, 21. We increase with uh, uh, five pieces. And uh, for this, we put one piece like this, then two above. And next we put four normal pieces and then increase. Sorry, we put uh, only three uh, normal and then we increase. 
and from now we put only two normal and then we increase to normal and increase then another to normal and the last increase and the last two normal and now we have 21 pieces in the last row next we put uh, three yellow rows like this very simple normal yellow rows Complete this uh, row and then put another two. In total, three yellow rows. Next, we put uh, six yellow pieces. Then we let the free space and put another six yellow pieces next again a free space and other six yellow pieces Now we put five here, then four, then three. and two and we uh, repeat this uh, in the other part okay and this is the main body of the flower and now we make the second part and uh, we start with uh, orange and we put one orange and another one here then in total we connect like this seven orange pieces four in the first row and three in the second and now we will close like this and we let this uh, free for maybe five minutes for the glue to dry next we use four uh, brown pieces dark brown pieces to increase here and then we put yellow like this then again one brown and two yellow above and we repeat this until we finish the row increase again 
and now we have eight yellow piece in the last row. Okay. Next we put uh, another yellow row like this. Next we increase from 8 pieces to 12 and we put one yellow like this and then two above. Next we put a normal piece and then increase again. One normal and then increase again. one normal and we increase for the last time and the last normal and now we have 12 pieces in the last row next we squeeze a little like this and then we put uh, two normal yellow rows finish this row and then put another one next we put uh, another yellow row Finish the row. Next we put three yellow pieces, then we let a free space and another free yellow, then free space and the last free. Now we put two above then we will close here and here the row and another one here and then two above and we repeat this in the other part two then close complete after this uh, pattern we finish uh, this and now we put inside and glue here and uh, we must be careful to put this uh, petal here where we have the gate and after we put we squeeze a little like this and this will be our flower next uh, I will show you how to make a strain and a leaf and uh, we can make a lot of colors but I think it is a very nice little flower Next we make the strain of uh, our flower and we use uh, dark green pieces and we start with two normal pieces and then we put one inverted like this and then again two normal glue very very well put uh, a lot of glue because uh, this uh, strain must be thin and resistant and now again inverted 
very simple we alternate to normal push very well these pieces and one inverted and we repeat this until we have 40 pairs 40 rows I repeat one inverted to normal then one inverted and two normal and we repeat this until we have a very long strain 40 rows 40 normal rows and 40 or 39 I think uh, inverted uh, pieces uh, when uh, we finish uh, the row we put uh, in the bottom two inverted pieces like this next uh, we make the leaf and uh, for the leaf we glue together like this very simple only normal pairs of three pieces until we have 19 pairs when we reach here again glue very well we increase the number of the row we put one in the middle and then increase like this and then two then we close the row here one in the middle and then again close the row then we put two green like this glue very well next we put again three pieces like this and now we increase again we put two normal green pieces in the middle and then increase again like this and now put another row above we close here and here and then another two in the middle next we increase to five uh, green pieces in a row put three in the middle and then in the same way increase with two pieces next we put four pieces above then we close here and here and three in the middle next we repeat four normal pieces and then close again next we put again four green pieces and then five and now we increase to six pieces in a row sorry here make a mistake And now we increase to six. We put first four pieces in the middle and then increase put one piece here like this and another one in the other row part. Next we put uh, five pieces.
and then six we close here like this and then in the middle four glue very well next we put five and from now we start to decrease first five and next row we put four and now we close here like this and in the other part the same and now we have only five pieces in a row next we put uh, four pieces next row three and then we close here and here and complete with two red and now we have only four pieces in a row we put uh, three pieces then two and now again we close here here and another one in the middle and now we have only three pieces and now we will finish the leaf like this and now this is our leaf now we take the strain and uh, we put uh, the leaf like this and we glue very very well I recommend you to use a hot glue or um, a fast drawing glue glue together okay we glue together and put uh, the leaf a little bit like this and now we put uh, this here the flower push a little and glue very very well and this is my 3d origami flower finish i want to make uh, another model of uh, uh, the same flower but a little bit dif different here and maybe other colors and uh, i want to make a vase for uh, these flowers i hope you enjoy these videos this is all for today have a nice day